Alright, I've never made a YouTube video, but I looked online and I couldn't find one that described how to do this, so I'm going to show you folks how to do this. This is removing the rear bumper off of uh, an MK6 Jetta, so that's an 06 Jetta. First step, I took the wheel off because I couldn't get into this thing. I'll show you here. So these two panels are held together. You can't see it masking tape, but there's a hole right here where my hand is. And if you go up underneath in here, you can see the backlight there. There's a hole right there. This little clip right here. Get that focus for you. It's got kind of a plunger action, so if you actually just... I took a screwdriver and pushed from this side, pushed, popped the plunger out. Then you can take your needle nose pliers and pull it out there. That's why I need to take the wheel off was to get the tools in there. Next step, unfortunately, means you got to take some stuff out of your trunk. So I took out the liner right there. Just lift that handle, pull it out. Then you got to take this guy out, which goes right here on the back of your trunk lid. You'll see there are two little Torx head screws, one there, one there. And then if you pull up from the bottom, from the side of the torque heads there, you can actually pull these clips out, which go right on there, right on there. You just pull those gently out and you won't, shouldn't break them. Next, I just took a red bar and just slid it under here, separated this all so that I could take this liner out. And then as you go around the liner, you see back here, there's a little plug. Here, there's, oh, it's pretty dark, there's another plug. And then there's a couple that are threaded right here and right here. You just gotta look around for them. I'll show you what they look like. All right, so on the back of the tailgate, that's what these are. Just a flathead screwdriver will take those out. You spin them with your hand if, if, if your fingers are feeling fit. Then these are the little plugs I was talking about. If you just get something flat and wide underneath there, I use a red bar. You can just wiggle these out. Once you can get your fingers around, you can just pull them straight out. And then this is the third kind. See it spreads there. There's your diesel in the background. You just turn this with a three millimeter Allen head. They'll come right out and you just pull them out with your fingers. Next you gotta jump underneath the car. You'll see there's Torx head there. There. There there and over by the exhaust and then around by the other tire take all those out just uh, regular Torx the bumper will kind of swing and be loose free like this next step is take the tail light out now this tail light is the reason why I had to remove this liner you can actually just take the bulb out and replace the bulb it's a little flap there but there's going to be two screws around your tail or two uh, nuts around where the tail light goes through you see right there, they go right in there. You can get to those, but then there's also a Torx down here. That Torx goes into here, and there's a little clip in the bumper. I almost broke it off because I didn't know it was there. So that's a bigger Torx. And once you get that loosened off, just be careful not to loosen it off all the way, or you'll lose this little black plastic clip down in the car. And that just attaches right out of that guy. Then you can just take the whole bumper and it will slide this way. Then I actually have this removed in the other shots, but you can see this little black beauty here sits right there. And that just bolts on with some more Torx bolts. But those are the actual clips that the bumper clips into. So you can see how if you slide the bumper backwards, I kind of just bear hugged it and pulled. I got that whole side just popped right off for me. So you just gotta be careful.